So Ashley Wagner likely out of the Grand Prix final after qualifying the last four seasons. Gracie Gold also off to a rough start this season. And Tara, what do you make of this ladies field overall and the Americans? Well, Yelena and Caitlin, they did their job. They're on the way to the finals. Ashley Wagner did not. She should be there. So it's very disappointing for her. She even just tweeted right now. I work way too hard to skate like this. It is what it is. I'll see you at nationals. Someone she'll see at nationals is Gracie Gold, who also didn't make it to the final. So they will be battling it out at the U.S. Nationals. But looking ahead at the U.S. Nationals for the ladies, it's a wide open field. If the ladies continue to skate the way they have been, you've got names like Mariah Bell, Courtney Hicks, who both medaled on the Grand Prix and could challenge Gracie and Ashley. It's going to be who shows up in skates. So plenty to still look forward to from the U.S. ladies in the future. But let's talk a little bit about the men really quickly. And let's take it back to February. Earlier this year, Patrick Chan trailed Jin Bo Yang by over 12 points heading into the free skate. And he won it overall. Now they're in the exact same position. Do you think Patrick can do it again, Tara? Yes. Patrick <laughs> can do this. If anyone can make up points and make up a lot of points, it's Patrick Chan. 12-point deficit. I think he could. We'll have to see. Yeah, I mean, this competition comes down to quality over quantity. Patrick Chan's got the quality, got the skating skills, got that beautiful technique, but he has to be flawless technically. Jin Boyang, four quads in this long program, but if he makes a mistake, it could be Patrick's for the taking.